You can't just run off like that, Henny. Granny's not as spry as she once was. Henny? I'm not... Aren't you cold, darling? You never knew how to dress appropriately. <laughs> I remember back in preschool how you would put your undies on your head. I'm sorry, but I think you're mistaking me for somebody. Uh, it's about time you made it back here, Henny. I'm feeling a bit out of sorts today. Why am I even standing here? Aha! Did you get... Do, do you have those, uh, you know... Help me out here, Henny. I'm sorry. I'm Aiden. Aiden. And I really have to get going. Pills. That's it. You were supposed to bring me my pills. Run out this morning. And my mind's all sort of foggy. I'd like to help, but I... Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Where do you usually keep these pills, ma'am? No matter, Henny. You were supposed to refill my script at the pharmacy. Yeah, pharmacies aren't really open for business these days. God, I've forgotten everything. Ah, I know. This group of nice boys came this morning for coffee. No, it was for tea. And they made me, I mean, I lent them my last bottle. They had such funny masks on their faces. You were robbed by renegades? Ah, yes. That might be what they called themselves. But they were nice boys. All right, don't worry, Grandma. I'll ask those boys to give it back. Where did they go after that? Uh, somewhere over there. To those abandoned apartments behind me, I guess. Darling, don't you boys get up to too much mischief together. I'll be waiting with a hot cup of tea by the windmill south of the VNC Tower. be confused, but her memory's just fine for some things. I hope these pills help her. Yo, ma'am, I mean, Grandma, I got your pills. Took your sweet time, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Had to grab a pint with your mates after work again, is that it? You could have let me know before we got married. The day were your true loves. <laughs> well, here's your tea. See what kind of wife you have? No, no, I'm not your husband, remember? I'm your grandson? Shit, now I'm confused. Take these, please. They should help. That's so sweet you brought them, Aiden. Wait, 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 wait. So, you remember my name? You know who I am? I... Oh, my. Oh, all right. I might have exaggerated my memory problems a little bit. One can get used to this epidemic. Even to the infected. But to loneliness? Never. What's the point of surviving if I have no one to share my life with? And you. Do you have a grandmother still alive? Do you drop by for tea with her? Never had a grandma. Truly? Then you do not even know what you are missing. I know so many stories. Would you like to listen? I... I'd love to. 
drop by whenever you feel like it, and I'll be glad to tell you. I'd love to hear your story now. I am Bosnian. I survived the siege of Sarajevo by the Yugoslav army during the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It started in 92 and lasted four years. The longest and bloodiest siege in the history of Europe after World War II. My mother and I were hiding in the basement. Very tight, very uncomfortable. It was hard to sleep. One day, a boy showed up. He was maybe seven years old. His name was Daniel. His parents had been killed by mortar shells. Higher up, you could sneak away from snipers, avoiding unprotected streets. But you could never predict where the missiles would fall. It was only a matter of time before Daniel would die. He came by every day, but my mother never suggested that he stay the night. We lacked food, and a third person would have made it impossible to sleep. One day, Daniel sat with us, and I could see how troubled he was. He had big brown eyes. Can I stay with you? Mother changed the subject. In the following days, she did that three more times until finally she let him stay. Why'd she change her mind? I asked her the same question. She said, I had to remind myself what it meant to be human. I have remembered that my whole life. When the virus broke out, I sheltered dozens of immigrants. People think of themselves to survive. But they won't survive if they think only of themselves. Wow. I never thought about it like that. I'm glad I met you. <laughs>